only a small flock. Uh, both of my soldering irons got broke. And I have here the so-called Soldy King. It was made in the 1980s and well, early 1980s is what I mean. And the quality was extremely good. I have repaired it for approximately four times uh, and also uh, only for say minimal reasons. No real problems because the, uh, the transformer inside has very good properties. Here you can see it. This is a secondary and here we have a kind of uh, say shortcut via the heating element that could also be a, a piece of copper copper wire that must of course be uh, connected very properly to these two electrodes of the output of the transformer because uh, you can see here you only have a few windings here that can generate an enormous current here inside that soldering iron. And, uh, but on the other hand it's on a very low voltage. That means that contact resistances uh, can have a serious problem uh, when there is no good contact between say the copper, copper wire here or the heating elements. Uh, the heating element will not heat up properly. And the same applies to this uh, 1980s soldering iron. The Weller, very popular brand in those days. And it's a very good brand. The transformer is extremely heavy. That means uh, that it has a heavy core. And well, uh, that means also that such a transformer can give out in general a quite high current to the heating element. And in uh, when you uh, study say this soldering iron you can see that is, this is the heating element but I have replaced it by a simple piece of copper wire. That's of course not the original element. Any way it works good, though at the moment it stopped. So I have to search what the reason is that this Weller stopped. Uh, anyway, perhaps the reason is that I mounted here a piece of copper wire instead of the original heating element. Uh, of course when we are talking about uh, resistances and heating we are in the 0.0xxx range. Uh, that makes it say uh, difficult to test it say uh, in case of a hobbyist like me anyway. A lot of time paid to this Weller soldering iron of the 1980s. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, well, this is the Soldy King. And perhaps it's a good idea to pay some attention to it. Uh, here that fierce copper winding, here the primary, when I measure it, in DC terms, not in AC terms. Of course the difference, uh, the coil resistance differs regarding to the frequency. And this is a coil made for 50 Hz. So on 50 Hz it has a certain uh, resistance. On 60 Hz it has an other resistance. Of course the difference in frequency is not very high but anyway could also have a difference in say the current that is taken up by the 
primary coil. No worries about this. Any way uh, such a coil is in the order of 0.00xxx etc etc. You can measure it of course uh, when you want to do serious measurement but any way. Um, you can see that this coil is a little bit deteriorated uh, since the time I have used it. I've used it now since 19, say 1982. That's quite a long time ago. That means that during the, uh, all these days heat was developed here and you can see here all kinds of brown and other colors but anyway it still works. That's a good thing. Uh, when I test it with my uh, ohms meter it reads 70 DC ohms. Well that means that I'm surely gonna repair this soldering iron again. Uh, of course you need a a wire to solder to this circuit I'm not sure uh, whether the reason of malfunctioning was this switch. Uh, I'm more or less sure that the coil here is okay like I told so I'm using a brand new cable here and uh, with such a soldering iron it's of course always interesting and good that you can move it easily and that's the reason why I've used this cable. So not a too stiff cable kind of advice. Uh, anyway, that was more or less all to tell. Uh, here, are, here is a tip of the soldering iron. It's say shuffled inside here and then uh, with these two bolts, kind of bolts, it's fastened so that the current, that's very important, the current must flow uh, uh, through the heating element in a very fierce way. And when there is contact resistance, like I thought, that cannot work, so the element will also not heat up properly. Thanks for watching, that was all. Uh, before I can make, uh, say, new videos, uh, I have to repair this soldering iron and also the Weller soldering iron. It doesn't take too much time. The whole idea of how this uh, soldering iron was made and both of them were made is very very primitive. When well, you know something about electronics, Ohm's law, AC resistance, DC resistance, uh, you can repair it, say, immediately. And furthermore, other circuit that I'm working on, I cannot work on it on the, at the moment because my soldering irons are, uh, say, dismissed, but any way uh, it was the temperature sensor that I was working on and when you have followed my channel you can surely see and find what that was all about. Thanks for watching.